with Evan being out now. What, what's your – TK had to play the whole game because Stephen Griffin didn't play. What were you at in your did. safety? Malik Gatewood got in there at the end. We had Malik okay. Gatewood. We had Devin Williams in. Devin Williams had a I fast breakup. I apologize no, for those guys. Uh, know, but but uh, what, what do you do at the safety spot? Like I said, the all season long we've had a next man up mentality, whether it's been at D tackle, whether it's been at linebacker, whether it's been in the secondary, and the guys have gone out and given everything they've got. You know, it's disappointing. I thought Evan had played fairly well against South Carolina and, and uh, started off against Tennessee Tech pretty well, and obviously Michael went back in there, and then we didn't want to risk anything with him. So we ended up playing Nigel the majority of the second half, and I think he ended up being our leading tackler. He won our Orange Swarm Award this week, which we're very excited about. And again, he, he's... He's a work in progress. He's very, very talented, and he's going to be a great player. But you know, there's some things maybe that I see that you guys don't. You know, missing an assignment, not covering a guy, not being in the right position. That against South Carolina hurt us. That maybe against Tennessee Tech didn't. But to answer your question, Stephen Griffin will be back. He's practicing today. Todd Kelly has played through injuries all year and been a steady rock back there. Uh, we think Mike is going to be able to play, and Nigel. So you know, those four guys will play this week, and. And, um, and we've got a really good challenge playing a, playing a good team against Kentucky. Bobby, you mentioned, you mentioned Nigel being kind of work in progress. How much can the experience he's got in the last two games kind of speed up that progress? It's incredibly, I hope. I mean, he was, you know, he came in and watched the film after the South Carolina game, saw the things he did well, saw the things he did poorly. You know, he and I talked immediately after the game about him upping his investment, you know, uh, as we move forward here. And, you know, everybody's banged up at the end of the year, and everybody's requiring players to step up, you know, all over the country. You see whether it's Ole Miss and their quarterback or someone else and this player and that player and the other thing. So, I mean, we talked to him about upping his investment during the course of the week so that he's ready to go on Saturday. He obviously brings an element of physicality and extra speed to that back end. Is it, is it just the mental aspect of the defense that he really kind of – Because Butch said – Inexperience. Inexperience. Yeah. Go ahead. Because Butch, Butch was saying that, you know, he's going to compete for a starting spot this week. So, obviously, it's just consistency uh, yeah. in his performance. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's to play – high level defense at this level, I think you need to, there's a certain amount of attention to detail, precision, and all those things. And, and right now, he's still learning those things. You know, he certainly has a, a good skill set. I said that's in his camp. And his level of investment has improved each week. And, and um, like I said, I mean, uh, I'm excited. And I saw great progress over the last two weeks. He, he didn't do everything well. He got a pass interference call this week. Didn't cover a guy one time. And there's some things he made mistakes on. And he's aware of it. I think that's the first step. Like four weeks ago, he made a mistake and didn't know he made a mistake. Now he makes a mistake and he comes to the silence and says, you know, I should have done this. And so that's, we're making progress and, and, um, and, and we're going to need him to play really well these last three weeks. What